Welcome to the Director's Cut of Christian Nutrition, the show where we review every single episode of Veggie Tales chronologically. And by we, I mean just me. Larry Boy and the Fit for Matter Space is the seventh episode of Veggie Tales, and it was released in April of 1997. After seeing Larry Boy kind of debut in Dave and the Giant Pickle, people were actually excited to see Larry as a superhero. And why wouldn't they be? He is the greatest superhero of all time. Well, Big Idea made that an entire episode dedicated to the concept of Larry Boy as a superhero. He's even better than Bible Man. After having so many episodes, well, literally every episode, with Junior in the spotlight, it's about time Larry got to shine and put Junior to the side, hopefully into the back. No Junior at all, it's glorious. Now let me say something. If you don't like Larry Boy, then you support communism. Dirty commies. You got a what? You know, Bob. Email? Aren't you wired? Online? Surfing the web? HTML, good buddy. You've got mail. Ah, I just got an email myself. Oh, uh, I got cable last month. You are so early 90s. Burn. Burn! <laughs> And the fib from outer space. Roll film. Yes, the moment we have all been waiting for. He is that hero. I'm bored, Jerry. B O R D bored. Veggie Tales, teaching kids how to spell since 1997. Nothing. N U T. You know, nothing. I am S C E P ing, skipping this part. It's the bats, uh, the Larry Boy signal. Uh, Master Larry, excuse me, Master Larry. Yes, Alfred. Uh, uh. Wait, don't tell me Larry Boy is just a Batman ripoff. <laughs> well, it's official. There's a Christian version for everything. Another plate. I know just where to get one. Okay, okay, I get it. The title of this episode is Larry Boy in the Fit from Outer Space, but what they really meant to title it was Junior in the Big Lie featuring Larry Boy. I've been tricked again. Junior and his friend are playing a game of tea party, despite Junior supposedly being a male. When they experience a conundrum of lacking enough plates, Junior says that they can use his dad's collectible plate instead of, I don't know, going into the kitchen and getting a regular plate. When in a shocking M. Night Shyamalan-like twist, he breaks the plate. His friends proceed to leave immediately when the weird space alien thing starts talking to Junior. Actually, the name is Fibrilius Minimus, but you can call me Fib. You must be new to the neighborhood. Has Junior ever heard of a fib before? Is this his first time? Now listen closely. What you need is a story. You mean like a bedtime story? No, 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 no. Now try to keep up here, kid. You need to make up a story about how somebody else broke the plate. You know, I never even pondered before right now that maybe Junior doesn't even know what lying or fibbing is. How did his parents just let this slide by on their way to teaching their son? You mean you want me to lie? Never mind, I take back that thought. Junior's just stupid. I don't know why I thought any differently. What we are talking about here is just a little fib. People do it all the time. Just like how the title of this episode has lied to me, Junior has more screen time than Larry Boy. You know what? Junior's just selfish. Despite every episode having nowhere in the title anything referring to Junior, uh, somehow he is the star of every episode. Maybe he's the dirty communist. It's Laura's fault. She broke the plate. I tried to stop her. She said she had to demonstrate her apple chopper. Okay, I know he's lying, but this rhyming is quite impressive and a little bit catchy. I'm actually going to have to give Junior a compliment. Yeah, I feel as dirty as you do. The apple chopper worked just great, but chopped right through your bowling plate. It's Laura's fault. She broke the plate. It's true. And that's the tale I have to tell to you. I like Bad Boy Junior. I'm not afraid to admit that. Why can't he just be bad all the time? He just, he needs to rhyme though, if he's gonna be bad. That's, that's kind of the best part. 
Junior's dad believes him and says he is not going to call Laura's parents. The fib has grown and Junior has come to the realization that he is not in any trouble at all. The short-term benefits of lying have just come to fruition for our likable bad boy asparagus child. Come on, kid. Let's go have some more fun. Alrighty. I'm with you all the way, fib. <laughs> Junior is so naive and yet likable. Can't believe I'm admitting to that. Liking Junior? Is that a sin? I feel like it is a sin. Loud and clear, Alfred. Go ahead. Yes. Um, have you located the foreign object? I'm afraid not. The Larry Mobile and I have been all over Bumbleberg, and we haven't seen anything that looks like it came from outer space. So Batman. Much wow. No parents. Very sad. At least the title character is getting some screen time. 11 minutes into a 30 minute episode. We did see a kid with green hair. Oh, and a dog that could whistle. Did you see Larry's lobster and franken celery? I will say this to the day I die. Veggieception is real. Hello, boy. Need, need to borrow my glasses? You, you seem to need them more than I do. Junior, I just came from Laura's house, and she got in trouble for breaking your dad's bowling plate. Except she says she didn't break it. She says you did. Well, Junior's busted. Time to turn yourself in. The jig is up, as they say. Laura didn't break the plate. It was... it was Lenny. Her brother? Yep. Who's going to believe that? You... he wasn't even there. You really have to improve on your lying game. Wait a second. No, don't lie. No, I'm so confused right now. It's Lenny's fault he broke the plate. He's very naughty. Just how was I to know he hated Art Bugatti? He gave it to a crocodile who chewed it up for quite a while. It's Lenny's fault he broke the plate, it's true. And that's the tale I have to tell to you. Have I mentioned I like Bad Boy Jr.? I'm really conflicted at the moment. The fib keeps growing and growing to the point where he actually now has legs. No one else has legs in all of VeggieTales, but he does. Larry Boy is tired and done searching and decides to go home despite Alfred being very adamant that there is something in Bumbleberg that needs Larry Boy's attention. Junior is confronted about his lying one more time and once again, he is awesome. It was these space aliens. They came down and they grabbed these cows and they switched brains with the cows. And the cows with the brains of the space aliens broke the plate. Never mind, that was lame. Junior, no one's gonna believe you unless you rhyme. All the good criminals have rhymed. Fib? Hi, Junior. After only three lies, zero out of 10, not realistic. Not realistic, this is VeggieTales. Who am I kidding? Fib then proceeds to go on a King Kong slash Godzilla style rampage on the town. Everyone is at a loss as what to do. Thankfully, there is one man who can save the day, and that man is... I'm still stuck in the molasses swamp. I've been here for 38 turns. 38 turns, 0 out of 10, not believable. Alfred, I've got work to do. Consider our game... Postpone. Finally, time to kick butt and take names. Drop the asparagus! Why don't you come and make me, little purple man? Words to die by. Now once you get up to speed, all you have to do is press the green button. No, no, the blue button. You are killing me, Alfred. monster is now. What is it? It's a lie. What's a lie? It is. Which part? The whole thing. It's a lie. The monster is a lie. Who's on first? What's on second? I don't know who's on third. That's what I want to find out. The guy's name. Uh, uh, huh? That's what I want to find out. The guy's name. I'm telling you, who's on first? What's on second? I don't know who's on third. Now, Abby, you want to be the manager of the baseball team? Yes. You know the guy's names? Well, I should. Well, now you tell me the guy's names on the baseball I team. I say, who's on first? What's on second? I don't know who's on third. You ain't saying nothing to me yet. Go ahead and tell me. So Fib is King Konging it up by climbing up the water tower while holding Junior hostage, which is 
always okay in my book. Nothing wrong with a good old-fashioned asparagus snapping. Larry Boy inexplicably launches himself out of his Batmobile and lands right in Fib's hands. So much for being our hero. Alfred then tells him how he has no power against this evil alien, and Larry Boy is understandably upset. He informs him that only Junior can stop the Fib. Now wait just a second. Are you telling me we have the very first Larry Boy episode ever, and all he has done is get tired on patrol, not even recognize an alien amongst a sea of vegetables, eject himself from the Batmobile, which ends up being completely worthless as he gets captured, and it turns out Junior the entire time is the only one who has any power to defeat the main villain. What a terrible Larry Boy episode. I feel ashamed to wear this shirt. I just feel so dirty and... Oh. Ah! No, don't you see what this child is saying? We can't spend all our energy placing blame when something bad happens. He's saying we all broke the dam. No, I broke the dam. I broke the dam. I broke the dam. I broke the dam. No, I broke the dam. And I broke the dam. I broke the dam. <laughs> I broke the dam. <laughs> no, I broke the plate. I broke the plate. I broke the plate. Junior admits to all of his lies, which ends up making the fib disappear. His parents immediately forgive him, I don't know why, and all is well. Well, the episode teases a cliffhanger that I'm sure will never be addressed again. Um, we need to hurry this along. I have a meeting with the action figure people in 10 minutes. Action figures? Yes, Bob. Larry Boy Mania is sweeping the nation. If you're not on board, you're gonna miss the train. Man, I'm not impressed by your shenanigans, Larry Boy. The truth will set you free. John 8.32b. Wait, was it really necessary to shorten the verse? All John 8.32 says is, Then you'll know the truth, and the truth will set you free. That's it. That wasn't really all that long. Well, we gotta clear the stage now, Bob. It's time for the world premiere of my new music video. Y your what? Wait, a Larry Boy music video? Hype intensifies. Okay, I love Larry Boy again. He is super cool. Dino my! So that was Larry Boy and the Fib from Outer Space, and let me tell you, it was disappointing. Not only was Larry Boy practically useless, but Junior was once again the star of the episode. In a show titled Larry Boy and the Fib from Outer Space, Larry Boy really didn't do much of anything. Now I will say, Junior being bad, and the music video did salvage this episode, but it's not as good as Rack Shack and Benny. Not even close. It was lackluster, there was a lot of promise, and there still is a lot of promise for a good Larry Boy episode. However, it doesn't really live up to the promise or the hype. Stay tuned, as next time we walk around Jericho in Josh and the Big Wall. I swear, if Junior is Joshua, I'm gonna...